Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers. Gonna be talking about free agent class of 2018 and who would be a good fit for the 49ers offensive side of the ball. So probably tomorrow, I'm gonna be having the defensive side of the ball and see who would be a good fit for the 49ers. But right now, I want to talk about the offensive side of the ball. Who would be a good addition for the 49ers squad in 2018 and help us go to the Super Bowl and make the playoffs because that is the ultimate goal in football in the NFL. So let's do this. All right. So the biggest needs right now for the 49ers, I feel like in 2018 are wide receiver not number one receiver but a pretty damn good receiver i would say interior lineman and possibly running back just in case carlos hyde has to run away in free agency and get paid more to go somewhere else i'm hearing the detroit lions are in the running i'm not sure hoping the 49ers can sign them but if not i'm just gonna be assuming that we do need a running back so i'll put that in the discussion as well but right now i want to talk about wide receiver and there's a plethora of good talent i would say it's not the strongest wide receiver class but at the same time i think it's a pretty good class to warrant a signing if we really Really needed one. My biggest options are Allen Robinson, Jarvis Landry, although I think they did place a franchise tag on him, but he is slated to get traded maybe, I'm not sure, and Terrell Pryor. I think those three are the really, really good ones I would go with. I mean, Landry, I might try to just rule him out because he's not a free agent anymore since the Dolphins tagged him. If they do trade him, then I would be happy because I'm a fan of Jarvis Landry. I was a fan of his coming out of LSU with Odell Beckham Jr. I wish the 49ers would have drafted him. Maybe it would have been really good for the 49ers offense for that stale offense that they were going through in 2013 and beyond. I was a huge fan of Jarvis Landry and he did lead the league in receptions last year, so pretty impressive on his part. Made to the Pro Bowl, I think, two times in a row now. It's not too bad there. Allen Robinson had a good season a couple of seasons ago, but then last year he had a little bit of a down season and last year in 2017 he tore his ACL or had a big injury he was out for the whole season only played one game that's a pretty big risk at the 49ers are trying to sign him but I feel like the reward could be really really high I think it's really high risk but it's really high reward as well plus the 49ers with the salary cap money that they have you know they signed Jimmy Gruppler to a really good deal I still think that they can work something out and he could be something good for Kyle Shanahan with all the talent that the 49ers offense have now with Jimmy Garoppolo the running backs hopefully and then the wide receivers with Garcon and Goodwin I think Allen Robinson can be a really good fit for the 49ers and we'll see what happens I don't know if they're going to sign him or not do I see a big chance for the 49ers to sign him maybe I would say yes but it's up to the 49ers and I don't know if they're going to be signing him for me personally for the 49ers I would definitely be down to signing Allen Robinson to a good deal I don't know if it's going to be a really big deal because that injury is going to be hampering him a little bit so teams would have more leverage to get a good deal on their part for not paying the biggest amount of bucks because teams don't want to pay too much money hey i know how the business works in the nfl i mean players want to get paid teams would like to pay them but salary cap is really hard to do i would definitely be looking into Allen robinson from the san francisco 49ers although he is coming off a big injury from 2017 and terrell Pryor, i think that's an interesting case as well quarterback turned into wide receiver he did a pretty damn good job in cleveland of all places a couple of seasons ago wow i mean if you do a good job in cleveland you deserve a trophy just ask josh gordon he deserves a trophy as well although he's been smoking a lot of weed for the past couple of years i think he's trying to get his life together and he did a pretty damn good job for not playing for a couple of seasons in 2017 he's not a free agent i thought he was a free agent but i think technically he's still under the browns roster because he didn't play uh six games to be a, a cured as a year of playing in the NFL so he's still technically with the Browns and I can't really do anything about that that would be one of the biggest targets right there if Josh Gordon was available in free agency this season I think a lot of teams would be gunning after him but unfortunately we can't that's off the table Terrell Pryor I think that's a really good pickup for the 49ers I know he has a little bit of attitude problem some people are claiming that but at the same time I think his talent is there as a wide receiver and he would be a good pick for Jimmy Garoppolo in my opinion and he would fit well with Kyle Shanahan because if you do well in Cleveland you might as well do good everywhere else and I think he had a little bit of a down year in Washington, but hey, I would be willing to take the risk to get Terrell Pryor if I could, if I'm the 49ers, and a little different situation from Allen Robinson. Robinson's coming off an injury, but Terrell Pryor's just coming off a pretty bad year with Kirk Cousins. I don't know, so I would definitely be down to getting any of them. Jarvis Landry, Terrell Pryor, and Allen Robinson. I think those are the big three wide receivers that I would like the 49ers to go after. That's just my opinion, so if you want to disagree, please disagree with me. That's it for the wide receivers. Offensive line, interior alignment. I think there's only one big choice for the 49ers interior alignment is Andrew Norwell of the Carolina Panthers. I think that's the most viable option. I really don't have anything else to say. I think a lot of you guys have spoken about Andrew Norwell, and I do know him from Carolina. He's a pretty damn good offensive lineman. I think he was undrafted a couple of years ago and then became an all-pro this year, so that's a really good 
thing for him. Good way to start off a free agency period. He'll probably get paid big bucks, and it's going to be hard for Andrew Norrell to resign with Carolina because they have a lot of good talent on the offensive linemen as well. Ryan Khalil, Matt Khalil, the Khalil brothers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tri Turner, they have a lot of good talent on the offensive linemen, and it's going to be hard for Marty Herney to negotiate a deal with Andrew Norrell. But if they do, then can't really do anything about that. But right now, he's a free agent, and that's the one of the biggest targets that the Fournier should be going after for interior linemen because he fits the need perfectly. Guard, that's what we need, interior linemen. That would be great. So that's pretty much it about the offensive lineman position. There is Josh in as well for the Chicago Bears, but he is aging a little bit. And if they do want to go after him, if they believe he's that damn good still at age 30, then go after him. But Andrew Norrell is the number one pick for free agency for any team that needs an interior lineman. And we do need an interior lineman. So that would be a really good pickup for the 49ers if they can. Last one, running back. Hmm, That's an interesting case study right there because Carlos Hyde, it depends on what he's going to do. Is he going to be re-signing with the 49ers? Is he not going to be re-signing with the 49ers? Is he going somewhere else? I don't know what's going to be happening with him. Just in case that Carlos Hyde does leave and go somewhere else, I believe that they should be going after Le'Veon Bell, LeGarrette Blunt, maybe Frank Gore. I don't know. That's a pretty nostalgic pick right there, but I think it's a little too late for Frank Gore to come back to the 49ers. But hey, if he does come back to the 49ers, I would be happy to see him back at age 34. I know Father Time is undefeated and running backs 34 is a very, very old age, but I think Frank Gore has a little bit left in the tank. Hey, if they do sign him, then they do, but I really doubt that they will sign him, so I'm pretty much taking that out of the table. LeGarrette Blunt, I think that's a good pickup as well. I mean, I don't think he's going to be the number one dominant running back like he would like Le'Veon Bell, but at the same time, I think if there's a running back by committee, LeGarrette Blunt would be perfect for it because he was perfect in New England, and he was perfect last year for the Philadelphia Eagles, and hey, they won a Super Bowl with him. He still, I think, has a lot left in the tank, although I don't know if his motivation is going to be up or down because he won two Super Bowls. Congratulations to him. Hopefully, if he does sign with the 49ers, if he does some way, shape, or form, then we'll see if he still has the motivation to play after two Super Bowl rings and getting paid some money. That would be a good pick, in my opinion. A very good power back. I think that's what we could use for the 49ers. Last but not least, Le'Veon Bell. I don't know if this is going to be the biggest, I don't know, the biggest doubt that I'm going to be having. I don't think they're going to be signing him anytime soon because I think the Steelers will find a way to get a deal with Le'Veon Bell or a, a contract extension. I know he'll get tagged big time. Le'Veon Bell does not want to get tagged, but if he does get tagged, eh, I don't know what's going to be happening with him and the Steelers, but if the 49ers do manage to get Le'Veon Bell, he reminds me of Frank Gore a lot. That would be a very good pickup in my opinion. He can catch the ball down the field. He can run the ball patiently. That just fits all the tick tick ticks for Kyle Shanahan because he loves those running backs and plus Frank Gore as I mentioned he resembles like him in my opinion. I think those are pretty good acquisitions that the 49ers could use. This is just my opinions. Maybe there's more people to talk about but right now those players that I mentioned for wide receiver, interior linemen, and running backs if Carlos Hyde leaves I think those are really good players to go after for the 49ers on the offensive side of the ball to get Jimmy Garoppolo some help enhance the wide receiver position and get a running game if Carlos Hyde does leave. Please let me know what you guys think about the free agents on the offensive side of the ball. I'll have a link in the description for all the free agents on offense and defense and tomorrow I'll be talking about the defensive side of the ball. Comment below who you guys think the Flyers should acquire in free agency for the offensive side of the ball. And if you guys like this, please like, subscribe, do whatever you want with this. And I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow, as I said. So I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a good day.